THR 10 it's got the uh, full set of controls uh, the effects USB amp modeling tuner five user presets and the headphone jack and the auxiliary input that you can plug in an mp3 player uh, I really won't go into details about the um, features because you can find that on other videos on the website with descriptions and stuff like that for this video, I'm using, instead of the USB audio, um, since I've got my FireWire uh, input uh, thing set up, the uh, Sapphire 40, uh, since I'm using that, what I've done is I'm using a headphone uh, adapter thing. It's basically just a uh, stereo, and it terminates to a, a pair of uh, female connectors and I've got just two instrument cables um, and you have to make sure that it's a stereo or else you'll just get a mono signal but anyways this is going into uh, two of my inputs in the Sapphire um, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, it allows me to hear the amp and monitor in real time out of my, uh, my out of monitors uh, and hear what's going on so with that said um, I will be doing a little bit of rim capture with uh, the these two microphones but I'm probably going to estimate about 80%, maybe a little bit more of the mix that you're going to hear is all going to be direct, just because that's really how it's intended to be heard. Uh, going to be using the Tokai. There's uh, no boost, and going to also focus on the software on this video because it is a really big, really big help for uh, fine tuning the sound and whatnot. Um, so let's see here. The position so hopefully you can see everything. And the software is awesome for fine tuning the sound. The knobs on the amp are okay, they're good for just kind of like rough approximations of sound. But if you really want to dial this thing in, you need the software. So, let's see here. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm gonna start off on my British high gain patch which is my favorite. Uh, I think that's the sound that this amp does the best. Uh, and it's what you heard in the intro of the video. So, kind of get a little bit more into that. Here we go. <laughs> that's using the room reverb, which I like the best, but I'll go through these uh, so you can crank the level of it up, get kind of out of control with it. the defaults that are in the software.
plate setting. And for these different presets, all these knobs actually are the same, but they change the value of them, so uh, you don't really get a different type of control for each type of reverb. It just changes how they have them set. So this is the plate setting. <laughs> effects except for the spring reverb. I'm not really sure why, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Filter 5. I'm not sure what filter is. Go to my room setting. And we got our delay here. See, I've got the high cut set kind of low, so it's more or less a lo-fi repeat. you have the tap uh, tap tempo thing on the front of the amp but if you're uh, if you're in the software you obviously have a whole lot more control over it you can get down to the tenth of a millisecond an adjustment change your feedback This is my um Alright, and this is my modern high gain patch. Um I'm actually using the British 412 on this. By default the amp goes to the American 412. But I like the way the British 412 sounds for this, so that's what I'm using on this patch. Got a little room reverb. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> see it did go to the American 412 for this one got a little delay going here still got the rim reverb this is what this sounds like <laughs>
setting uses the lead model which I believe is a JTM 45 but this is how this sounds <laughs> If you lower the gain back down a little bit and then hit it with a boost, it sounds great. I and mean, it really reminds me of my JTM 45 I used to have. Um, but here we go. Clean. Don't save it. All right. here chorus <laughs> Yes. 
flanger. Never been much of a flanger guy, so I got no idea what these do. <laughs> set up I've got a couple other videos that I will put up one with the acoustic patch that I did with my JP6 and uh, let's see I've got another one that I did with the crunch channel or the crunch setting with the boost being engaged so I'll throw that one up as well and I think that is all I can come up with for now if I can think of anything else then I guess you'll see another video so uh, thanks for checking it out, and check out the other videos if you want, and have a great day.